In this video, we will be learning about callable method and byte method. Callable method returns to if the object passed appears to be callable, so it only takes object as the parameter. So let's make a variable x and store five inside it, and let's see if it is callable. So here the output is false; it is not callable. So let's make a function test function. Okay, and then. This function will print. Let's say test. Okay, and I'm going to make a variable y, and then test function. And let's see if the y is print callable. So you will get the output as true. It is callable, but the object x is not callable. so let's make a class name four okay and let's make a method and let's put the argument as self okay and this will print let's say test four let's see if it is printable call level and then So here the output is two again. So let's make a instance of two. Instance of two. Let's make it two. Okay. And let's call the instance of two. So here it is giving the output as test two. Okay. So let me comment the byte method. Bytes method. So this byte method returns a immutable bytes object initialized with the given size and data. So let's take a string variable, string, okay, and let's put Python is interesting, okay. So this is our string, and now let's make a AR variable, and let's call bytes, okay. And let's put the encoding as UTF-8. Okay. And let's print the AR. So you can see here the output. So let's make another variable size. Okay. And let's make the put the value as five inside it. And similarly, we we'll call the bytes size. Okay. Let's print. Now let's see the output. So you can see here the output. Okay. So similarly, let's make a R list variable. And let me put a list of till five. Okay. And let's call the bytes R list. Let's print. So here again you can see the output as 